What's up guys? Welcome back to the Whiskey Hideaway or welcome to the Whiskey Hideaway if this is your first time here. My name's Steve and today I got my friend Billy joining me and he has brought a bottle to the hideaway. So uh, this is what we've got. It is Creek Water American Whiskey 100 proof and that's about all that you're going to get on this bottle <laughs> as far as what it is where it comes from or anything um i don't know what the age statement is on this their website didn't say it either uh i'm guessing it's probably a young whiskey probably two maybe three or four lucky years old um but uh, i did find the uh the website bring that website up let's see that website yeah. so where where did you got this uh, in lewisburg yep how, Lewisburg. Uh, how much for the bottle 26. 26 dollars so this bucks. is on your budget bourbon list guys um and this from what i understand what i understand at least from the uh the the website is that this is actually produced in north carolina in durham so let's take a look here if you look in the bottle it actually says bottled in creek water spirits uh stanford kentucky but on the website it says that it's crafted in durham uh, so let's take a look here. He wanted me to read this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. From the mind of the American founder and global recording artist, Yellow Wolf, with grit and with <laughs> style. <laughs> with grit and with style, Creekwater is the brand that gives you no apologies, just great whiskey. Yeah, that's right. No apologies. So if this sucks, they don't care. Just drink it. <laughs> it's twenty six bucks. It's twenty six bucks. It. You know, it, Make the, the chances are fifty fifty here. <laughs> Creek water, one hundred proof American whiskey, similar to Canadian and Irish whiskey. Creek water is carefully crafted in Durham, North Carolina, using a bourbon mash of twenty one percent rye, four percent malt, seventy five percent corn. Aromas of Tobacco, maple syrup fill the air while the deep copper color draws you in. Yeah, it's drawing me in. Looks like iced tea. Uh, featuring a slightly charred front end with spicy hints of cinnamon and traditional oak, followed by a short, smooth finish. All right, so that's what they say on the website. I know it's a very simplistic bottle. I mean, it's it's. Nothing fancy. I do like the topper though. This is very interesting. I haven't I've seen that on many whiskey bottles. Mm -hmm. Normally, I see that on like some uh, some beer bottles, on, mm -hmm. you know, and on, and on growlers, obviously. So, uh, since you brought the bottle, I'm gonna let you uh, you pop right. the cork on this bad boy. Um, actually, I have. I don't even know how to open it. It was already open. Huh? Is it safe? Pull it on that. Okay. Ah, I gotcha. Whoa, that's a heavy pour. <laughs> okay, Go we're filling the cup up. <laughs> so let's see what the nose brings. Sort of a dusty tobacco flavor, almost. Mm -hmm. Tobacco smell and flavor. And grass, and normally when you have that grass smell, it's because it's a very young whiskey, hasn't matured yet. It matters to me. Yeah, and it's, it smells like MGP. Oh yeah, he, he's trying to say he smells like grass. He's been out mowing all day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Billy here is a landscaper. I'll throw his uh, his uh, Facebook page link down here at the uh, on the bottom. If you live in the Lewisburg Franklin County area and uh, need some landscaping done, talk to this guy. Yep. It's very green, uh, not a whole lot, you know, there's none of those regular bourbon notes, um, of course this isn't, I mean, they said it's more fashioned in the way of a, a Canadian whiskey, mm -hmm. so um, yeah, it just doesn't have uh, any, you know, no cherry, no brown sugar, I don't really pick up on any oak, maybe just a hint, but nothing major. It's gotta, taste, it's gotta taste better than it smells, probably. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. 
For 100 proof, that is extremely smooth. I do get a little sugary sweetness. Um, not quite like a deep sugar, like a brown sugar or something, just some sweetness. Mm -hmm. um, the finish is short. It's pretty much gone already. Yeah. Um, hmm. A little mouthwashing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mouth <-washing> to me. <laughs> yeah. It's got a graininess to it. Do you know? And when you drink this, do you drink it neat or you use it as a mixer? Oh, that's some ice. Just ice. Yeah. Okay. Well, speaking of that. Yeah. Let's add yeah, just a little bit of water. Right. See if it brings out anything that's kind of buried in there. Oh. Hmm. There almost seems to be kind of a plastic note in there. It almost feels like it wasn't aged in a barrel. It was almost in yeah. one of those plastic barrels and aged with wood <laughs> chips or something, you know, because it just doesn't, it's not jumping out at me with anything. When we added the water, it kind of, it made sipping on it more, more buttery. Okay. You know, the mouth Texture. feel is more, yeah. more buttery. Yeah. Feel of it, yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Uh, I guess it got, it, it separated those oils a bit. Uh -huh. But outside of that, it's just a, it's a, it's an okay whiskey. On a, on a, on a star rating from one to five. For me personally, I'm. I'm not an avid whiskey drinker. Sure. I, I enjoy it. Uh -huh. I like it. I like tasting new ones. Sure. With you, with all of our friends and everything. Mm -hmm. Just for the simple fact that it's so drinkable and it's 100 proof. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm at three alone. I'm just that. Okay. Uh, just for those factors. Drinkability, yes, absolutely. I would, I could, I could drink this if you came over with this and you wanted to hang out by the fire and freaking toss absolutely. some of these back, neat or on the rocks or as mm -hmm. a mixer. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, price is right. Um, for, right as for the complexity of it, it, it falls short obviously yeah. with the complexity. I'll be give it a one and a half. Mm -hmm. in, in, in my opinion. Yeah. It's not bad. No. There's just nothing special about it. It's there at, to do a job and it does the job. At the price point of this and the proof on this, obviously, yeah, it's going to do the job. <laughs> um, and, but the price point is, is the biggest thing yeah. because uh, I've had I've had whiskeys as cheap as $12 that were either super bad, which most of them were, but I've had the occasional one that actually is really good. But one that I really, really love is JTS Brown. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to find around here. I've only ever seen it once in the Lewisburg ABC store, and I've never seen it anywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, if you've ever watched The Hustler with Paul Newman, he's a pool player, he plays Jackie Gleason. Uh, it's old black and white movie. I know, uh, I know of the movie. Right. It was the predecessor to The Color of Money. Uh -huh. The Color of Money was a sequel to that movie. Okay. Um, the one with Tom Cruise in it. All right. Where he's a pool player and he's hustling people. Anyway, um, in that movie, that's all he drinks is JTS Brown. <laughs> and I'm like, as soon as I saw that bottle, I'm like, I have to experience this. <laughs> I want to know what it is that he want, that he likes. And it is really, really good. Well, Billy, thanks for bringing it over for us, Absolutely. man. Let's finish this off. Mm. Before, when I was just sipping it, I wasn't getting a whole lot. But when I just did that, I actually got a really good cherry note. Okay. Huh. Massive quantities of this. <laughs> You'll get something. <laughs> Don't sip it. Just drink it. Chug it. No. <laughs> drink responsibly. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.